Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now before I start this week's review, let me first give a quick announcement. So from now on, whenever I review an episode of The Mandalorian, I will rank it on a tier list, which is what you can see on your screen right now. And as you can see, the tiers go from D, the bottom tier, to FM, which is the highest tier. D stands for disappointing, and I honestly hope no episode of The Mandalorian is worse than disappointing. The tier above that is NB, and it stands for not bad, which means the episode wasn't really that good, but you know, there wasn't anything particularly bad about it. And then the tier above that is acceptable, like the episode compared to the other episodes of The Mandalorian was pretty good, you know, like it wasn't anything spectacular, but like, you know, on the standard that the series has set for itself, it wasn't bad at all and it was pretty good. And then the tier above that is incredible, meaning like it, best of the best episodes, basically. Um, like, you know, really, really good episodes, um, episodes that stand out. Like, uh, last week's episode was probably incredible. And the tier above that, even higher than incredible, is FM, which stands for Siege of Mandalore. And for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely adore the Siege of Mandalore arc that, you know, finished off the Clone Wars series. I love that arc so much. So if any episode of The Mandalorian can get on the same level as that arc, I think that episode is probably going to be, like, the best of the entire series. So... Probably only, like, one or two episodes will go in that tier just because of how, like, big, like, how great it would have to be to fit in that tier. Um, so yeah, that is the quick announcement I wanted to make, and let's get on with this week's review. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this week's episode yet, because it wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, but compared to the absolute juggernaut of an episode that was The Marshall, which came out last week, it was kind of disappointing, you know? But there were still a lot of things I liked about this episode. I personally found the first 10 minutes of it particularly enjoyable. Similar to The Marshall, this episode starts with a pretty epic fight scene, and I honestly preferred this episode's opening fight scene to The Marshall's opening fight scene simply because it was longer and um, the odds were stacked against Mando for the majority of the fight, and I just thought it turned out to be, you know, more enjoyable and yeah. However, after the fight scene ends, Mando doesn't shoot at anything for the next 20 minutes, and that's like half the episode. And I know by itself, not constantly being in fights isn't a bad thing for the series. I just thought it kind of made the episode a little bit more boring. Once Mando leaves Tatooine, not that much happens until the climax. Like, I get his ship got shot down, but like, like, that's all really that happens. However, I do want to point out that I love Mando's first interactions with the X-Wing pilots. Uh, I like how they got mad at him for not sending them a ping. It just, like, the fact that they got mad at him for that makes the New Republic seem a lot more legit, you know? Like, they're laying down the law and everything. I, I just thought that was a cool little uh, section they added in the episode. But now let's talk about the climax of the episode. I am personally a really big arachnophobe, so you can imagine that watching an army of spiders chase Mando made me feel really uncomfortable. However, I guess that just makes the creepy crawler's inevitable demise all the more satisfying. And I did like how the spiders that chased Mando were the same spiders that we saw in Star Wars Rebels. I just like how they had that little, like, you know, reference in there. And yeah, you know, I, I really like it when they reference uh, stuff from other Star Wars materials or fan service as some people call it. I honestly really like fan service and I know some people don't and yeah when fan service is shoved into the story for no apparent reason it is kind of annoying but when it's used correctly like how it was in this episode I find it very enjoyable. So yeah putting my arachnophobia aside I found the climax to be pretty entertaining. Now really quick I just want to talk about the child or baby Yoda as some people call him. I get that Disney was trying to make him seem extra cute for this episode but in my opinion having him eat this poor frog lady's unborn children is not cute. Also half the problems in this episode were caused by baby Yoda and half of me really likes that because I hate how people always like rely on baby Yoda to save the day and I kind of like how like he's causing the trouble now. Um but the other side of me really doesn't like that because it makes him come off as really annoying 
and he, he was definitely doing more harm than good in this episode. Like, I, I kind of don't like it when Baby Yoda saves the day, because it makes it seem like uh, Mando relies on him too much, um, which he doesn't, but you know. And I just like it when uh, Mando has to solve his problems for himself. So I like it when Baby Yoda doesn't save the day, but when Baby Yoda is straight up causing like most of Mando's problems, I just don't find it to be that cute. Overall, I feel like this episode was more filler than anything else, and I feel like it just exists to try to get Mando to where he has to be for the next episode. And it's kind of annoying that most of this 40 minute episode is just filler, but as long as the filler exists to set up for an even better episode next week, then I am happy. Overall, I think I would give this episode a a on the tier list. Um, setting aside my overly high expectations I had for this episode, I would probably give it an A. Um, it was acceptable compared to the rest of the show. It was, it was like, you know, pretty, pretty medium, medium for the, um, compared to the rest of the series. Um, because a lot of the series is kind of like this episode, like Nano doing, like, one job. Usually episodes have a little bit more significance than this one, but, uh, Overall, I would give this episode an A. Um, I am kind of wanting to put it all the way down at D, just because for me, this episode was very disappointing. But that is only because my expectations were so high because of how absolutely fabulous the Marshall episode was. Also, yeah, I would probably rank the Marshall at I ranking because it was a really incredible episode. And yeah, I think that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.